Good morning, guys. In today's episode, we're going to look at how Ohio State runs their mesh concept and how I think it can create three simple, easy throws that any quarterback in any system can learn to make and also gives you a ton of ways to dress it up, run it out of different formations, makes it a great fit in any offense. So here, Ohio State's just starting in a 3 by 2 set, and they're going to run the mesh with two receivers coming from the field, one receiver coming from the boundary. So we see here this wideout who's motioned down is going to run underneath the two from the field. That two receiver side is going to have the over aspect of the mesh as well as the on the ball route that's going to look to sit in the void at about eight yards off the line of scrimmage right over top of where the football snapped from. So there you see your two members in the mesh, one and two, as they get to the opposite side. And you see here coming from this number two spot, the receiver who ultimately ends up running that over the ball rope. Now like any mesh, you can teach these guys, depending on how complicated you want to get, to either just run through the opposite side and try and take the space, or they can, like they do here, sit it down if they get a zone look and they find themselves in a better position than if they were to continue on to the flat. Okay, here with a defender with leverage on that, uh, on that underneath route, the receiver sits it down and should hook up and face the quarterback. Okay, on this side, the receiver's got a little more space. He can carry on his route onto the opposite side. Okay, on the outside here, there's a number of different things that you can do to dress it up. Here they're out of an empty set, so there's no running back in the route. But they actually run a dig route uh, on this boundary side to try and high-low this defender. Okay, and we'll get to more on that in a minute. See it here out of another set. Here they put three receivers in the boundary. They got one running back um, in east to the field. Okay, typically... I would run this out of an empty set uh, or out of releasing the back. Here they release the back to the field. And then here's our three-man mesh concept. The tight end is running the over-the-ball route. And then the slot and the condensed wide receiver to this side are running the two mesh concepts. Okay. The left side guy for them looks like he's going underneath every time. You can do it that way, or you can have it be the guy to the one. Uh, the the side of the on the ball row goes over top, and the guy opposite the over the ball row goes underneath every time. That's up to you. Okay, but again, here we see how that creates three easy throws that even on a big Canadian field, any any quarterback that you have back there can make any of these throws. They're just playing catch. Here he hits the tight end on that over-the-ball road in space, with the linebacker's attention being on the two underneath routes. So here's a quick look at how you could draw this up, obviously with the 12th man and Canadian rules. Okay, here we have the back, so this would be a, out of a 50 protection if you're comfortable running empty. Uh, the back is going to be where we start our progression. So that back is always going to go to the, the flat opposite where the over the ball route is coming from or the two receivers are coming from. Okay, he's coming to the one receiver side. All right, and we're going to look to him. If he gets leverage on his defender, if he's open now off of a punch step from the quarterback, so just a vertical step back from the quarterback, he can get his second step in the ground and throw that to the back right now. Okay, if not, he's going to carry out his three-step drop, and he can look to that high-low between the first mesh route and that dig concept in behind it. Okay, if that's not there, the quarterback's going to reset his feet and now work through the over-the-ball route to that mesh route to the field. Okay, the reason I have this highlighted in red is if you get zero pressure, okay, or your quarterback doesn't have time to go through the whole progression, all right, he can really, after clearing that back, he can go right from that first mesh to the second mesh. Okay, to the field here, I drew up the Z running a dig or an out option. He's just trying to eat up um, the middle of the field defender if he can. 
Okay, and if he's got an off defender, he can run the out. Okay, if you wanted to keep that a little simpler in your offense, you could have him just run a post. Okay, the quarterback would go there. If it, again, maybe a zero pressure option. There's no one in the middle of the field, and he can take that right now. Okay, another nice way you could run this uh, would be out of a 41 look. So again, the back is going to the single receiver side. In this case, there's no dig route because we're running it to a single receiver side. Okay, that receiver is going to motion down and run the under. Again, we're looking at the back first. Now we're going to go after looking at the back on our punch step to our traditional three-step drop. Now looking to read out mesh to over the ball and then work out the back side of the concept to that under route working to the opposite side. Again, if you get pressure, you can go right from that kind of rhythm throw to this second under route. If you're getting any kind of zero or man-to-man -man cover one, should be a great outlet for you. Um, here I drew it up with a post and an in concept. Again, we want to eat up that middle of the field defender so he can't uh, influence or, or cover this over the ball route. Um, and if you really had a lot of time back there, if you're able to work through this whole progression, you may even get some room in that dig window, high lowing this under to the dig. Going back to some film here. There's a couple different ways you can dress this concept up. One of the main reasons I, I really like it as a stable concept in an offense, especially for a high school team, is there's a lot of little ways that you can change the routes on this or run it out of different formations, but keep very simple rules and very easy throws for your quarterback. Okay, here Ohio State's going to run this out of a 3 by one set, similar to that 4 by one set we drew up uh, on a Canadian field. All right, so your three receiver side here, you're going to see an over-the-ball route, uh, and then in this example, they're going to work a bang route coming back out of it so they work that to both sides and they wheel the running back okay so on a Canadian field we might have to make this wheel look a little bit different just because there's so much more space okay you're really going to have to time it up well but again that's a great way if you're running that that shoot route into the flat and you're getting that route covered by linebackers if you can wheel that route up the sideline okay that's a tough cover for them if they are able to cover it, it's going to create a lot of space or potentially a great mismatch for your X receiver, potentially getting work on their will linebacker. So here you see the bang route from that X. The linebacker plays the wheel pretty well, so the quarterback quickly works down from his wheel route to the mesh. And the beauty of this and you see it here, we're still creating that triangle. Now those receivers are just returning back to their original side. So if I pause it right there, you still have your triangle. This read is the exact same for the quarterback. He's going to go from the back to the under route to the back side. Now in this case, that's that bang route coming back to that same side and then work through his progression the rest of the triangle. Here they pick up a nice easy first down. That's a great clip to show um, both options off of that. Okay, here they miss the throw, but you see similar concept. They're going to wheel the back. They're still going to run the mesh on the inside, but you see you get that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Now they just missed the throw, but anytime I can get a running back, especially in high school, if you got you know your best athlete playing tailback. Anytime I can get that running back matched up on a linebacker in space, we're going to take it. Okay, here they just missed the throw. So looking at how you might draw up those little wrinkles on a Canadian field. Again, here it is at a 41. It looks very similar, and the read is the exact same for the quarterback. We're going to take a punch step, so a vertical, our, our hips still stay square, a vertical step with our left foot if we're a right-handed quarterback, back, and then get into our three-step drop. If I can put that punch step in the ground and then throw off a one step to this wheel, I'm going to do it. 
Okay, if I get that one-on-one -on -one matchup, if they bust the coverage, um, you know, if I wind up having leverage on that wheel route, I'm going to take it. If not, I'm going to take my three-step drop and work through my same triangle progression read. So I'm going to work to the under, to the side of the back. In this case, it's that bang route instead of the under, back through the over the ball route, and then to the under, or in this case, that bang route to the opposite side. Okay? So you can dress it up with the wheel, you can dress it up with the bang route, you can dress it up with both. Either way, the quarterback's footwork, read progression, timing is exactly the same, uh, and it's a great answer, I think, um, especially for teams that maybe are playing an athlete, a quarterback that can't throw the ball all over the field to still try and create short, simple throws for your quarterback.